All right then. Back by no demand at all, I'm going to now replace a battery in this thing. The Game Boy Micro was not charging when I pulled it out of some cupboard. Uh, I found the charger and I plugged it in, like so. Oh my god, I can't even plug it in. I still don't plug. Where's the actual cable gone? I mean, it's not a great start. Let me find the proper cable. As I was saying, the Game Boy Micro wasn't charging when I tried to plug it in. This is the actual cable now. So the light came on for a little bit and then it turned off. This is something to do with the battery just dying, basically. Uh, that other cable, incidentally, that's for a DS Lite. So I had a DS Lite that had flood damage. Um, and that is actually the DS Lite that's died as opposed to the connection thing, which is a shame. But we're looking at the Micro today so that we can get back on Emerald on a very small screen. So to open the Micro up, you again have got to use the Diddy screwdrivers and get in there. There's only two here, so should be a bit of a faster job. As long as I know which way is right and which way is left. Oh my god. The actual box this came in, the Game Boy Micro. It looked quite uh, regal, really, when these came out. They don't do anything more impressive than uh, a Game Boy Advance. They just look slick. I think the idea was you could have it like in your purse or I mean, maybe not in your wallet. Oh god, they are tiny screws. But then I don't know what you're going to do with it when you've got it there. It's not as if you're going to take this like to a bar or clubbing or something. The idea that someone's going to come up to you in a bar like, oh my god, have you got your micro out? <laughs> you're playing Super Mario whilst you're waiting for your snake bite. Now, if you get one of these out in a club, literally nobody is going to talk to you. And have I messed this screw up? No, it's coming. Where is it? This might be another two-hand job. No pun intended. Right, let's try two-hand. See, this is why you use the internet before you do things like this, because this is how you avoid issues. So I destroyed this, so I couldn't get in here anyway. And then that's where I realised that's not the place I'm trying to get to anyway. This is where the battery lives. So I don't know what I'm trying to access up here, just have a little bit of fun with the top. Story of my life. This is where you want to get in, and this is a nice big screw head that you can actually access. As opposed to the little diddy ones that I just spent far too long trying to get in. Say you can access them and now I can't actually get in there. Here we go. So, managing to unscrew. What a life. There we go. We can take this off. And the battery comes out. And you should just be able to pull. Like that. Bit of a tug, but it comes out. And that's what the old battery looks like. Again, rechargeable battery pack. The new one, which is somewhere. Maybe don't do this when you've got cats nearby. No, that's not it. That's the box of the old one. Ah, right, here we go. Here's the new one. This one from the internet didn't come with any little screwdriver, so I had to use the ones from replenishing the... Uh... Please don't lick me while I'm dealing with batteries. Just a good lesson for life. Yeah, I had to use the ones that were for replenishing the uh, battery in... What was the other one I did? I can't even remember. DS, the 3DS, that was it. So we should be able to put this back in again. I've got to be honest, licking me, not a good idea while this is happening. So when this was in there, it just fed in. Black on the top, red on there. I feel like I'm doing a bomb. You never see this in the films, though, do you? Doing this and then the cats are... Uh, Licking while it happens. So it should just slide in. The thing is with the Game Boy Micro, if you've got the hands of a gorilla, it makes this a lot harder. If only I could train the cat to actually do this. No, I was joking. Oh god, there's a second cat now. How am I going to manage this? Oh my god, I got it in. So I use this end of the um, tweezers, I forgot the word tweezers then, to actually feed it in. Now with regards to this cable, I'm going to assume we can have it on there like that. And now I can try and actually get this reattached. Jesus. Okay, that looks relatively secure. This is obviously much more of a botched job than the, uh, than the previous one when I did the 3DS. 
and but it really does seem like this is actually simpler i'm just useless there you go look at that so really easy fix i'm a fool and we're straight on to emerald how's the sound buttons are working fine sounds lovely oh we know the internal batteries ran dry that's what this is all about Shab is still cooking though. Oh, we've got a bit of aqua going on. Sound looks good to me. I'm sure the brightness was some kind of button thing, but I'll figure that out. Yeah, um, so hopefully you've enjoyed me being an absolute shambles of a person. It should charge absolutely fine as well now. It would help if I knew which side the charger went on. But yeah, it's a beautiful machine. Um, I don't know what year it came out. They really didn't sell that well. But if you want to play Game Boy Advance games on an tiny, tiny screen, maybe give it to a cat, then you can do. Why did I start with a septile? Don't know. Leaf Blade's still going to kill this Carvana. Oh, the zoom's on. He's fainted. Hope this has helped somebody. Like it's good there.